Hey guys, this is Amy33 and I'm with Salem's Lady for another episode of Pony Paradise. Hello, 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 hello. You're still not Salem's Lady. I know, I'm kind of liking being lots of different ponies actually. Well, actually, I'm, I'm kind of liking you just being just Twilight. Been... <laughs> I miss your skin. I well, miss your skin. Well, I miss my skin too, but unfortunately... Did you lose it? Lost. Yes. <gasps> Salem, no! Well, that's so sad. That's what I get for not looking after things very well. Oh, Salem. Why is our bridge covered in snow? I don't know. I don't think that's ever happened before. No, it hasn't. It? And it's only ever since we did Christmas in July. Something's gone oh. wrong. <laughs> that I was a fun like episode. It. it was. But what are we doing today? What are you building I'm today? Gonna... I'm going to build like a little beachy area so we could like, you know, go and have fun at the beach. Cool, 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 cool. What are you doing? I'm going to try to make a carousel. Car uh, yeah, I'm going to try. A it's carousel? Gonna <laughs> I know, a circular fairground Whee! ride in Minecraft, eh? Hey? Great. Um, yeah, good luck with that. I know. Good. <laughs> um, I need some sand, because every good beach has lovely sand. What's the best beach you've ever visited, Salem's face? I think you know what I'm going to say. Great Yarmouth. Chroma. Chroma. <laughs> Chroma and Sheringham have the best beaches in, Eng in England. Yeah, I'm kidding about it. Not even kidding. Yeah, I know they do. They're brilliant. The sandstones. Has anyone been to North Norfolk beaches? They're really pretty. I posted, uh, when we were there the other week, I posted a picture on Instagram and quite a few of, of you said that you um, you loved it as well. So uh, I know that it's very, very popular. Yeah. I used to live near there. I used to really love Kramer and sharing. I know. It's I was really nice. jealous of when you lived there. That was amazing. Hmm. You had an amazing place. Yeah, I had a lovely That's beautiful apartment that overlooked the sea. I really miss that. I'd love to buy that house again. Yeah. It's Would you really be scared cool. though? Because I, I'm like, if I'm, if I was to live at the sea, I'd be scared of like corrosion and flood. I and kid stuff. you it not. Just, like, like scares me. We like our like apartment literally was overlooking the beach, like and the pier, so we could see everything. And yeah. like, when it was like really bad weather and angry, like. It was terrifying. Like our bed was like up against the window, so we could just like lie in bed and turn around and just stare at the angry scene. Sometimes we'd wake up and just watch the sea be angry and watch the waves go over the pier. It was really scary. Yes, and that's then, what would scare me. It I'm was terrifying. Sure. But you're so high up, like you know, the flat was so high up, it was safe. But when um, I remember this one time, my friend and I drew like we were in the car and we were driving on that road near Kroma, like near the sea. Yeah. And the waves started coming over the car, and like you could hear all the stones hitting the top of the car. I was terrified. I was like, just get up! I don't want to be on this road anymore. Stop! Wow. I was like, it's fine. It's like it's not fine. We could get swept <laughs> away. Like it's not okay. It was terrifying. I really didn't like that. Like literally, we were driving on that road, like like that. What's it called? The pavilion or whatever? Yeah. Like, I don't think you're supposed to drive on there, but, like, you know, whatever. And, oh, yeah. Naughty. It wasn't my fault, it was my friend. And I was begging my friend not to. I was like, please, let's just go home and I don't like it up here. <laughs> don't tell them who your friend is, that he'll get mobbed. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> my, <laughs> my fans are protective. Sorry, friend. Um, yeah, see that that I would love to live by the seaside, but so many things like I see pictures of cow houses like falling off of cliffs, and my heart goes. I'm like, oh my god, how would you live there? But yeah. at the same time, it's so beautiful. It might just be worth it. <laughs> it might be worth your house falling off a cliff. Wow, that I don't think that would ever be worth it, Salem. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I don't like it. Cambridge is pretty in its own right, but I much prefer to live by the seaside. I think my favourite beach that I've ever visited is Daytona Beach in Florida. Oh yeah, no, like if you wanted to go to uh, like abroad, I guess there's loads, but yeah, Cambridge. It was beautiful. Like it wasn't like um, what you're probably thinking, like loads of people and like sunning themselves. Like there was no one there, really? but the beach was like it was like white sand almost, and it was like powdery. So like when you kicked it, it flew up in the air, and I've never seen sand like that. Wow. It was beautiful, and then like going into the sea, and it was just so clear and warm. And I was like, I remember like there's a picture of like my feet in the sea, and I was like, I'm in Florida, I'm in, <laughs> in the sea. This is like my dream. This is weird. 
That's kind of why I wanted to go, like, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with the Maldives just because they had, they always had pictures of the white sand and I was, yeah, it was something I always, or somewhere I always wanted to go. But I don't think I'd go now because obviously I, I'm a bit older and I know there's bad places, but it, just the white sand, the whole white sand thing, I was like, well, I want to see that. I want to do it. I want to see it. I want to do it. Yeah. I really, like, when I go back to LA, I need to go to Venice Beach because I missed that last time and, like, I'm going to hang out. Venice Beach, man. Have you ever actually been to the real Venice? No. No? Have you? No, but it's, again, it's somewhere I'd always wanted to go. And I was like, like fascinated me, like, how do people live? Oh, the water? Like, yeah. Yeah, it's like, um... What? How do people do that? That's crazy. <laughs> Imagine going to Tesco's with all your shopping. I know, the boat. boat. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the heck? This is, again, it's always fascinated me how people do it, but I guess... They just do, like, it, I, know, I suppose it's not all covered in water, but it was just weird, like how, yeah, yeah. some I'm of you must must list. live near Venice or or somewhere. Please explain to me, like, how you how you live how your you life. Even. How yeah? How do you even? even? What? We would like to know how you even. How you even in Venice? Yeah, but I do want to go because it does look amazing. I'm gonna put it on my bucket list. Now, now you've said that. Just I want Venice to, see. to see how you even. Yeah, I want to even on a boat, <laughs> and then I will like send you a selfie and be like, "Guess what, Salem? I even." <laughs> and you'll be like, "How?" And I'll be like, "I just <laughs> did. I can't even explain how I evened." You get the dog in the water pulling you along. Ah, doggy, doggy, doggy. Oh, this doesn't what? really look like a carousel. Just saying. Probably not. Mm. What other places in the world do you want to visit? Um, I guess uh, Florida would be one for me because I've never been, obviously. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't really know. There's so many places I'd like to visit. Yeah. But Venice and the, um and America would always be like one of the top two. America first because Venice is probably a lot colder. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really like the cold. Although I would like to go and see Santa. Yeah, I want to go see Santa. I'd love to get to Africa too. To see yes, the Africa, an African safari man. That would be an incredible journey. Yeah. An incredible one. Wow, what the heck am I doing? I have no evens with what I'm doing right now. I'm going to visit every single American state in my life. That's the dream. Where are you going first? Like, where, where's, where's next? Well, I'm going back to Osini Hampshire to see my family and then um, I'll be going back to LA but I'm going to be spending some time in New York. You've never been there before but I don't really get to enjoy it all that much, like I didn't have a long time there. Yeah. Um, after New York I'm going to head down to California, mm -hmm. go to Nevada and I want to see like Grand Canyon and stuff, I go to Utah and Arizona, like all the states down there or over there. Um, oh, Montana for sure, and Washington and Oregon, so I can see the giant redwoods. Yes, that's obsessed with the redwoods. The dream. Always been obsessed with the redwoods. Do you know? I that? need to hug the redwoods. That'd be the ultimate tree hugging picture. Um, I definitely, even though it's not a state, I want to go to San Francisco, um, in California, just because like we're over the bridge. Yeah, the Golden Gate Bridge. And the big jail and the shops like the big jail. <laughs> well, so I the I'm not gonna say it's Alcatraz because that's Harry Potter. What's it called? I always get it mixed no, it up. No, it is. Though. It's Alcatraz. Oh, it's Azkaban, Azkaban. It's Harry Potter. Azkaban you know what's Alcatraz. really funny? It's like, I was saying this the other day, and I was calling it that. I was calling it the Harry Potter one, and they're like, wait, what? And I'm like, I always get them confused. <laughs> they sound so similar. They do. They do. Alcatraz and, what is it? I'm Alcatraz again. and Azkaban. <laughs> Azkaban. Alcatraz and Azkaban. It sounds like a magic frigging, like, potion right there. It does. It really does. So, yeah. No, I'm going to go there. And then I want to go shopping because San Francisco has amazing, like, hippie shops. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I want to go to Hawaii, like, cruise over to Hawaii. I want to do everything in America. I guess, yeah, You there's nowhere to stop, is there? You have no. to keep going. It's. I want to go to Texas. I want to go to the southern states and, like, see everything down. Oh, my God. I can't wait. I have so many friends to visit. Like, I know. So many, like, all these years, years ago, you, there was, like... I'm going to do friends. this, I'm going to do that. Now you've got like a friend in every state. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> this much. This is crazy. Yeah. It's going to be fun. 
Oh man. Um. Oh jeez. Azkaban, Alcatraz. Al Alcatraz. Alcatraz is real. Azkaban is not. Azkaban is real. Well, it's muggle. real. It in it's real. You're a in, muggle. It's real. Get out. <laughs> At least I know it ex <laughs> like, exists <laughs> like somewhere. It does exist. You thought it was as as as, as oh, oh you've got see, see I told you it's so like, I give up. I spent too much time in my imagination. Like it just I can't make sense of the real world anymore. <laughs> Alcatraz <laughs> That's the problem. Alcatraz Azkaban. Alcatraz. Alcatraz yeah. and Azkaban. Yeah, it's been a long day, you know. Yes, yes, I can <laughs> tell. Uh right, glow. I need some glow stone. How are you getting glow on anyway? Um, I'm just literally doing the sand and then I can do like the fun stuff real soon. I'm gonna make like some umbrellas and palm trees and some like sun lounges. Maybe a little boat so they can like go on a little boat or a little island. Yes. Or yes. Something. That'll be fun. Um, I wish I'd done the top kind of differently actually. That's kind of annoyed me a little bit. Why I did it so stupidly, I don't even know. <laughs> but it's all it's all gotta be attached, you know, like kinda like bumper cars where I've attached them all to the top. Yes. Like kinda like that, because they all are attached to something. I didn't want it to look like all enclosed. Dirt and sand looks identical, so I really don't know whether this is dirt or sand, so I'm just gonna get rid of it and make it sand. It's okay. it's bricks. Okay. Okay, just yeah. Um just saying! Oh, there's another iron golem here. Hello, sir. How do you do, Petal? Um, oh, why did I do that? I want to visit Australia one time, too. Australia scares me because of the bugs, but... I don't know, the monsters. The bugs and the snakes. But I do and like spiders. snakes, I just wouldn't like to come across a very deadly one in the middle of Australia. <laughs> you know what? I've never had a problem with snakes, but recently I've been having very weird, like, visions of snakes and it's been scaring me. Oh really? I do love snakes. Like I don't have a fear of them like I That's because you're a Slytherin. I, I do love them, but if I was to come across a wild one that's potentially like deadly in Australia, I think I would actually poop myself. I'd be more scared of like an anaconda. Pardon? The anaconda snakes. They're big. They're like, scary huge. <laughs> I've seen like, some documentaries on them and literally they like chew me to the bone. It's like no. And spiders. Spiders are no, 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 no. And jellyfish and sharks. There's a lot of scary animals. Yeah, out just there. stay out of the sea and stay out of the grass and just, just stay in a city and walk along the road somewhere. You should be fine unless there's a raccoon that wants to bite you or something. Oh, one thing I really do want to do. The thing you can do it in Boston. Well, in Massachusetts is um, you can go whale watching. Like, get on a boat. Whale and watching. Whales. Oh, I'd love yeah. to do that. Whales are so lovely. I'd love to see a blue whale, like the largest mammal in the whole world. Can you imagine, Although, like, being next to it, seriously? I would what? be very frightened. Well, like, yeah, it's a really scary thing. But picture, it's also really magical. Yeah. Like, the picture of, like, the whale next to the man. Like, you know, they drew, like, um, a measurement kind of thing. And, like, the human being is, like, the size of a big bean. And the whale is, like, humongous. It's like, oh, my goodness, that scares me more than life itself. But I really want to see it. Well, yeah, it's something you, yeah, you would have to kind of... Wow, this has turned out not so much a carousel, but more like a train ride or something. <laughs> oh dear. Do you I make love myself it? laugh. I'm glad you do. I've almost finished this little sandy area. Which is really good. La, 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 la. It doesn't even go in a circle, by the way, this. Does it work? Square. No. <laughs> Imagine. I'm not that clever. Imagination. I bet there is a way to do it. Yeah, of course there is. I was like um, YouTubing some ideas the other day and I saw like a kind of, it's like a working grabber machine. Oh really? Yeah, and I, I didn't oh, watch cool. all of it because like it was like, this is how to do it and redstone and I was like, yeah, my attention span is not right now. <laughs> but it looked amazing and if it was legit, then oh my goodness, like it's redstone and sticky pistons and whatever and I'm just like, how, how, how? I don't know, maybe it's Clever it was peoples, mod, man, clever peoples. I've seen some incredible like things in my time on Minecraft. Like, I think one of my favorite ones was there's like um, an obstacle course, and um, it was built by one of our friends. I can't remember what his name was though. Um, for me and Stampy and Squid and that, we we're playing on this obstacle course, and it's more like a jump map. 
But each jump you'd done, you hit like a pressure pad and it calculated the time and the score or whatever. And then at the end, you saw this like, it looks like a humongous calculator and it had calculated your entire score. Do you know what? And it was like, what? I, I went to a, um, a museum the other day and they lying? were teaching coding. Yeah. Um, through Minecraft, uh, Minecraft Redstone and stuff. And yeah, like they were teaching us a calculator and, uh, like a proper calculator, like one plus one equals nine or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. it's so clever. It's like amazing. it's so simple. Once mm. you've sat down and I, I kind of got I lost got lost because um there was a lot of people and I had to keep turning around. And you know with redstone you need to keep looking at it to, yeah, to kind yeah. of get it. But I had to keep turning around, so I lost my attention a little bit. But it was so clever and it did work. And like these kids were just like coming up with calculators and stuff and like and I was like, that is so cool. It, it, it's amazing what you can do with redstone. It really is. Hello. Redstone has changed this game. I love it. Anyway, guys, we've just run out of time for this episode. Um, but yeah, we're going to carry on. And in the next episode, we're going to build the fun stuff on the beach. And I'm going to continue her train wreck. Uh, carousel, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I have seen my train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a bit of I'm only going by what you said. Right, uh, I'll let you off. Silly geese, right? <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out Sinems and iChannels. They're both in the description. And we love you muchly. Bye. Bye.